How's it going guys? It's Nico. Welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a, a different video than I usually do. It's not going to be about uh, a gameplay or anything like that, but um, I'm making this video because I want to show you guys how to um, basically install Elgato HD60 um, and connect it to your... Uh, I'm going to be using PS4 and uh, I'm going to do an overview on the whole uh, program and stuff like that, but I, 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 I was scrolling down YouTube and, and you know, videos and I'm noticing a lot of people, still a lot of people... They've, they've posted hours ago or days ago that they, they still don't clearly understand how to use the program and um, install it onto the system uh, or to your computer. So I'm going to be showing you how. So to start off, um, it's going to be in the description below, but you're going to want to go to Elgato.com, uh, the support page, and uh, whatever you're using for this for the vis this video purpose, you are going to we're going to be uh, downloading the Mac version. But I already downloaded it, so I'm not going to download it um, in the video but you're going to want to download it if uh and it tells you right there so for version 2.5 you're going to need a 10.11 or later and to show you guys i am using um uh sierra uh sierra version 10.12 so we are going to be i am going to be using i did download the version 2.5 already the 10.11 but if you do have older systems um, you're going to be downloading the 2.05 and it's just straightforward and to find this thing just go down in the description below i'm going to post it there but other than that, after you download it, you're going to run it through. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to install uh, programs onto your computer. But um, And if you have Windows, uh, it's you, it's the same thing. Just uh, do download this one. But other than that, after you download it, uh, find it wherever you download it to, whatever folder or um, location you download, and you're just going to open it. Okay, so this is what you're gonna see. I'm just gonna go and oh, I'm just gonna go through like a good uh, overview um, through it. And uh, there is a crucial part, something about stream command, and I'm gonna be going over that because I recently found out that there's um, um, the issue. I recently found out like a like problem to the issue, but we're gonna get um, uh, I'm gonna go over that later on. But so before I show you the setup of how to connect it to your PS4 and all of that. We are going to go through the program and I am going to show you guys how. Okay. So we're going to start off with the, so basically you have two options. You have capture and edit. Once you're done, once you're done capturing your, your gameplay, it's going to go automatically to the edit and you're going to edit your videos there. There's uh the start off to edit. You don't have much to edit. Really. You, uh, you can just cut like a video from the, either from the beginning or the end. And that's it. Uh, that's why you, you should always have a separate editing program. Um, either ones you could buy or get for free to to edit because the Elgato system isn't very well in editing but uh, that's okay because really all you need is to record the gameplay so uh, we're gonna go in this little wheel here this is basically uh, it's straightforward it right here you can choose where you want the videos once you once you're done recording you it, you you send the videos to a specific folder I have it to the Game Catcher HD library because I can find it easier. And if you never, if you it's if it's hard to find your video, once you're done recording it, if it, if you find it hard to find, just click on the folder itself, and you go there, and you should find your videos there. Okay, uh, enable flashback recording. I don't have that on because I don't really use that. But if you guys want, basically what it is is if you can you can have the Elgato not recording, but you can still have it connected to your um, device and. Um, say you get say you just you just leave it on for just in case you get cool uh, like kills or um, you want to make a montage just with that uh, if you have it on you can rewind i'll turn it on for you guys right now basically right here this will go all the way you can rewind to that kill and you can capture that you can capture that right there it's super easy but i don't use flashback recording so i don't i don't enable it um use the footage the foot switch to toggle capture is basically um a device that Elgato uh, made where it's just a it, you you toggle the recording with a foot stand it's I think it's pretty cool I don't have one of my own but um, just it's you so you don't have to click record there's a like a foot pedal it's like a foot pedal and you just uh, press on it to um, to begin the recording enable stream command see this is where for the Mac users it gets very very complicated so I have it on what the what it is is what it is is it's basically the web command you can um, the web command the webcam you can record it directly from the thing and let me show you so you're about to see me right now it's not going to be the best of quality 
or maybe you will see okay actually no you can't see me right now because it's not connected but for example when you have it on if you have a mac um and once you go to edit say you 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 put your webcam right here and you first you go to edit scenes and then once you save scenes and you go to edit most people will not see their webcam overlay their their picture on the on the actual recording and so many people have that problem and i have i have had it too and i found out why your mac needs to be running a specific number of ram to be able to do it um this macbook pro i have the oldest macbook pro and um inside the motherboard i actually broke it i actually it actually got damaged in the past so i'm not able to put more ram into it i only have eight ram of of, of space in my um in my computer so i can't i can't i can't uh increase the number of that so now i can't i can't use webcam through uh, through the elgato software which yes it is a pain in the ass but i have to record um the webcam footage with another system with another program and then put it together in an editing software but uh it's honestly not that hard and it's actually better because you, editing you, when you edit in a different program is it's honestly it comes out the video comes out better the audio the quality it comes out all better because you can render it to your own um preferences but yeah that's how you do it so the stream command is basically um it uh it has a webcam already installed into the software so the device over here this device uh if you were to have the elgato plugged in uh it would show up here and that's and then if you go to the little tool you have all the settings so you have capture you can either choose playstation you have a variety xbox 360 anything you want ips4 so i choose for a input you do need an hdmi or an s video but i have an hdmi um color range i always use standard i have everything standard uh profile hd 1080 and be sure to experience like the the hdness of the of the elgato so make sure you click allow 60 frames per second that's the most important like that's basically the whole thing of the new elgato hd 60 quality i keep it around here crop i no nothing you have playstation vr but i have i don't really record PlayStation vr vr even though i have one but that's basically it oh yeah another thing i leave these two blank because i don't really um i don't really need to do this but uh, other than that the game audio i keep it at negative 18 db because um i don't really want the game audio you know to the max i want to be able to hear my voice instead of the game audio more so i keep that at negative 18 live streaming i don't really live stream and if my mic was here guys if i had a mic connected to the computer right now or well i do but um Oh, actually it's right here i'm sorry it's right here so basically it's live commentary you have this connected right it's off right now but this is for live commentary all you got to do is click it and as you record you can talk through it that's what i do most of the time so live commentary it's super straightforward audio input you can choose the microphone you have connected to your computer i use this one right here but for the purpose of this video i am not using the elgato right now to record i keep it at 10 db and i don't have this checked off because I noticed that every time I talk, it, it does automatically reduce this game sound, and it's just the flow of the sound is not good. I don't like that. So then, um, right here, it would tell you the level. So every time you speak, this would increase. Um, the level of this would increase, and this is just the tags of the video before you start. Right here, if you like a good um, picture of the of what you're recording, you can automatically take a snapshot of video, a snapshot of the video. Right here, um, on mute, you can mute the game uh, as you play if you want to hear the sound through your computer, which I don't like at all because you can hear it through. Um, I just, I don't want, I already have the T, I already have it on my headphone um, listening to it. So I don't want it. And this is the preview screen. I leave it sometimes on to make sure everything's going through good, but sometimes off because I feel like it's not necessary sometimes. So that's basically the overview of the capture. It's very straightforward, guys. It's, it's really easy to just use. Um, that's basically it for that for edit well you guys know edit there's not much to do in edit just like i explained but there are some things your videos will go directly here you can group them by whatever you want i just keep them how the default and let's just uh i'm not sure if a video will pop up right now but um right here share you can you have the opportunity to share it directly through whatever you want but i don't do that because i rather edit my own videos on a different software like I explained many times so you can share it through youtube facebook twitter email apple tv ipad iphone and or you could just directly put it to a movie 
what I do is I put it directly into a folder I want, I drag that to the software, I drag the webcam to a different software, and I edit all there at once. And it's basically just like that. That's the easiest and most straightforward overview of the Elgato game capture. It's really simple. And now I'm going to be showing you guys um, how to um, plug into your PS4 and how everything works. And then once I plug into the PS4, I will come back to this software and explain everything with the Elgato connected. But that's basically the, all, the overview of everything. If you guys have any questions, please leave in the comment below. And now we're going to transition into um, connecting the Elgato to the PS4. And remember, this is all for Mac, guys. All right, I'll see you guys uh, while connecting the Elgato. All right, guys, welcome back to the setup of the Elgato HD60. So basically, um, I'm going to be showing you the aspects of it. This is the HDMI in, and this is the micro USB cable. And the other side is the HDMI out. It's very simple, very small, and compatible with the hands. So um, to start off, it comes with an HDMI cable and a an, uh, micro USB cable to connect this to the computer. So what you're going to do is start off by connecting this into the little small USB port. And the other end will be where you connect it to the computer. Okay, guys, very simple. You're going to connect this to the computer. The other one, guys, is the HDMI cable. Two sides, doesn't matter where you put it. So uh, where you're going to want to put it is into the HDMI in. That's all you do, guys. That's all for the setup. And now we're going to turn around and we are going to connect it to the PS4. So we have it here, right here. We're going we're gonna to ignore the, the USB cable to the computer right now. We're just going to connect it to the PS4 right now. So you're going to want to get your PS4. Sorry for the crappy setup. But you're going to want to get this. Take the HDMI cable, and you're going to want to plug it into the back of the PS4. I have the regular PS4. So you're going to want to take out the HDMI cable that's already connected to your PS4 that was already connected to the computer. You're going to put it aside and put the HDMI that's already connected. You're going to take the HDMI, and you are going to connect it to the back of the PS4. There, connected. Now, you're going to take the HDMI that was already connected to the PS4 before, guys, the one that you've had already uh, with the TV, and you're just going to plug it into Logato. Simple. There. You're done with the setup. Just push back your PS4 now. Easy as that. And the last step, probably the easiest step, you're going to take the USB cable, and you are going to plug it into your computer. So follow here. Just chase it back, and just plug it back into your computer. Once you plug it back into your computer, guys, once you plug it back into your computer, the system's already going to start working. And as if you look down here, the Elgato, uh, once you start it, it should be blinking red. That means it's working. It's connected. All you got to do now, guys, is turn on the PS4 and go back to your computer. Go back to the computer. Go back to the computer. And open the software up and now it should be connected easy as that guys there oh there's the webcam hello and that's it that's pretty much all you got to do to connect it and now we're going to go back into and i'm going to show you uh basically the end of the video of how to just use it while recording thanks guys okay guys welcome back to the last part of this video very simple actually so uh i left off by um okay let's turn off let's turn off the webcam yeah, let's turn that off. Okay, so we left off when we were um, I connect. We just connected the Elgato to the PS4. So now this is this is all you have. Okay, so you have the game audio right here. If uh, once you move, well, I'm just leaving it paused uh, right there. But once you um, once you have the game audio uh, working, once it's connected, the game audio is going to increase because the it's getting the volume from your from the PS4 itself. And then, pretty much, that's it. Say you say you hit record. You can hit record. Let's do that. Hit record, and you and you hit the commentary. The commentary will you see it goes up. As you can see, it goes. It's going up right now. That's because it's the internal microphone is it's capturing my voice. Say say welcome back to PlayStation. Press the PS button to use the controller. I just read off the screen, and then you hit stop recording. Once you stop recording, guys. Okay, let's turn off the. Okay, once you turn it off, you have it right here. The recording will be there. As you can hear, you you can hear the game audio. Hear that?
you can hear it for some reason it did not capture my voice which is odd I think it's because I have the the mic connected already but let's let's see let's try that again all right so we're just testing this out welcome back to PlayStation press the PS button use the controller we have the PS4 connected and all that good stuff um, and yeah right here you can choose what mic you want and yeah pretty simple I think I think because of the video it's not gonna capture my voice for some reason yeah yeah I think for some reason it's not capturing my voice but that's okay you guys get the concept and that's basically it guys that's, that's all I really wanted to explain that's that's it once you edit it like I said you can't you all you can do is split it you split it and then you can delete this portion if you want and that's pretty much all you can do guys you can't really you can't you can't I mean that's it you all you can do is that you can split out you can split some pieces out split and then say you don't want that split and there you go you delete that you delete this portion there you go that's it guys that's simple but see if you have live commentary over it, it makes it very complicated because you're gonna hear the cuts of your of your audio it's gonna be rough and it's not gonna be good that for editing that's all you can do you can't really um, you can't raise the volume up for a specific um, thing but what's cool is say you want just the live commentary you click save live commentary only once you click it um, uh, it's going to go directly to a folder a specific folder whatever folder you want and yeah that's pretty much it and uh, right here if you want you can set whatever thumbnail you want for the video and you can put it share it directly to YouTube but guys that's pretty much the whole video it's just a review of the whole uh, software pro slash program and how to install it to PS4 if you guys please if you guys have any questions please ask I'm gonna I'm a reply to every single comment you guys have but other than that guys that's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this was very helpful for you guys but yes uh, please uh, please again ask questions please leave a like if this helped you out and if not ask questions I'm gonna be replying to every comment I get alright guys I'll see you guys in the next video peace